Okay, here's a how-to video. Do it yourself, how to insulate water lines. And I'm doing it up here in Alaska, in interior Alaska near the Copper River. We do experience negative 70 degree temperatures during the winter, but I'd say it averages around negative 40 for extended periods of time, a couple months straight. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, you want to install very good heat tape. I've used Guardian heat tape, 75 foot length. It's an extra heavy duty heat tape and I've had great success using this brand. Um, it holds up to the temperatures well, well, well below negative, uh, below zero, below freezing. Anyways, uh, you want to install your heat tape on your water lines at approximately the 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock position. That allows the heat from the heat tape to raise and warm the pipe up. What I do is I first is I will zip tie at about every... 12 inch interval of the pipe the heat tape to the water line. I also use heavy duty cloth fabric electrical tape high temperature electrical tape it seems to last a lot longer than the regular plastic electric tape but once again install your heat tape at the 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock position on the underneath side of the pipe to allow the heat to raise. Once I install the heat tape from the entire run, I will then go and go over the heat tape with black foam insulation, pipe insulation. There again, I tape it on using the cloth electrical tape and I usually like to go uh, 12 inches at first, then I go back every 6 inches or closer. You can never use enough tape here, even on the heat tape. Uh, whenever you run your heat tape on the lines, you know, you can never use enough. You want to make sure that the heat tape remains in contact with the pipe at all times. You don't want to allow any gap between there. You know, whenever you have a gap, that does not, uh, it is not very efficient. You know, it does do the job, don't get me wrong. You know, but I'm pretty particular. I've been doing this work for 30 years now. And I have never, ever had a waterline breakage. As long as the heat tape is working properly, you have not lost any power and the heat tape has not went out and went bad. If you lose power, of course your heat tape will not work. And if your heat tape goes out, of course it won't work. You know, I do like to install an alarm system on the water line to allow me to know when the temperature gets close to the freezing point that way I can verify that the heat tapes are working you know because these heat tapes do go out you know I've had them go out in three to five years from being brand new but once again make sure the contact is close as you can get on the pipe with no gaps and then once you get that done tape it up real good then you want to go over with the black foam insulation once again making sure to go all the way and tape it very good on there you want great tight wrap now once I get the black foam insulation on I then go over with yellow fiberglass pipe insulation I use the six inch width and I go as they tell you to go 
all around the pipe. You want to overlap this. You can never, ever use too much insulation. Now, I install the fiberglass insulation over top of the black foam insulation over top of the heat tape. The fiberglass insulation comes with the vapor moisture barrier wrap. That is basically just plastic, thin plastic that you wrap over top. You know, once again, overlapping the plastic to make sure there is no gaps. You want to seal in all the heat you can. Then, once I get the plastic all over the fiberglass, I go over duct tape. And I make sure there is no gaps. That ensures that any heat from the heat tape will remain inside the insulated pipe. Now, up here in Alaska, we bury our water lines from the well coming into the residence about eight feet underground. And we use Arctic pipe which is basically approximately a 12 to 16 inch metal galvanized pipe. On the inside of that pipe, you have approximately 8 to 10 inches of heavy duty foam insulation. It is solid. In the center of that foam insulation runs approximately a 2 inch conduit, which allows you to put your water lines in with heat tape, with insulation, moisture vapor barrier wrap you know all inside of that arctic pipe once again this system has worked for me for 30 years without ever having a water freeze up issue and we have experienced negative 76 degrees last February here in Alaska you know without any issue works great you know so anywhere down in lower 48 if you insulate your lines like this you will not have a problem as long as you have power to the heat tape and the heat tape is working properly once again i recommend installing a uh, alarm system that attaches right to your water line that can either send off a little beep or a buzzer and that way you can audibly hear it going off you know your pipe is getting critically low, close to the freezing point. You know, that's just extra protection. You can never have too much protection up here in Alaska. You know, so let's recap this one more time. You install your heat tape right along the pipe, your water line, at the 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock position. You tape it every 6 to 12 inch. You know, the more tape you use, the better. And any brass fittings, like I'm using these shark bike fittings, and this is PEX line. You know, they're great fittings. Pop them in, they're good to go. Seals right up. No leak, no worries, no problems. And then you go all around this um, fitting to make sure the heat disperses within the fitting and the pipe once again you can never use too much tape tape it close make sure it makes contact with the pipe all the way down once you have your heat tape installed properly and taped up and zip tied good you'll go back and add the black foam insulation making sure to go over top of all fittings taping it very securely on there you can never use too much tape keep it closed that maintains the heat inside there. Once you get the black foam all on, you will then go to the yellow fiberglass pipe wrap insulation, as I showed you prior. You overlap it, making sure it is very good. Once you go over top of the black foam insulation with the yellow fiberglass insulation, you will use a vapor or moisture barrier basically plastic wrapping around that ensures that you don't get any moisture in there which moisture will freeze up so you get that installed on there and then you go over top with the duct tape making sure that you overlap once again completely sealing off <laughs> 
and that is the way you properly insulate your water lines which I have personally experienced negative 76 degrees up here in Alaska without any issue the water lines will not freeze as long as you have power to the heat tape and the heat tape does not malfunction and go out I hope this helps everybody to know the right way to do your water lines and insulate to protect yourself, your home, your property. You know, an ounce of prevention is worth 10 pounds of cure up here in Alaska.